This video explains how to calculate the median in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In the first example of this tutorial, I will show you how to calculate the median of a list object. And for this, we first need to create an example list, as you can see in the first code box. So first we are creating a new list object, which is called my list. And then we are printing this list below the code box. So as you can see, after running these lines of code, a new list has been created, which contains different numeric values. Now, if we want to calculate the median of this list, we also need to import the NumPy library, as you can see in the second code box. So after running this line of code, we can use the NumPy functions, as you can see in the next step. So in the third code box, I'm using the median function of the NumPy library to calculate the median value of our list object. So as you can see below this code box, the median value of our list object is 2.5. So in the next example, I want to show you how to calculate the median value of the values in a pandas data frame. And for this, we first need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the next line of code. And then we also need to create a data frame using the data frame constructor. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame, which is called data, is created. And this data frame contains 11 rows and three columns, whereby the first two columns, x1 and x2, contain numeric values. And the third column is a group indicator that we will use later on. So in the next step, I'm interested to calculate the median value of only one column, or more precisely, the column x1. And if we want to do that, we need to subset our data frame to extract only the values of the column x1. And then we need to apply the median function to return the median value of this column. So in this case, the median of the column x1 is equal to 4.0. We can also calculate the median value of all numeric columns in our data frame, as you can see in the next line of code. So in this case, I'm applying the median function to the entire data frame. And within the median function, I'm specifying that I want to return the medians only for the numeric columns. So we already know that the first column x1 has a median of 4.0. But below this output, you can also see that the second column x2 has a median value of 5.0. We can also print the median value for each row in our data frame, as you can see in the next example. So in this case, I'm once again applying the median function to our data frame. I'm also specifying that I want to consider only the numeric values in our data frame. And then I'm also specifying the axis argument to be equal to one to tell Python that I want to calculate the median value by row. So after running this line of code, you can see that another output is returned below the code box. And this output shows a median value for each of the rows in our data frame. So for example, the last row in our data frame has a median value of 7.5. In the last example of this tutorial, I want to show you how to calculate the median value by groups in a pandas data frame. And for this, we first need to apply the group by function. And within this function, we need to specify the column name of the column that we want to use to group our data. So in this case, our group indicator is called group. And then we need to apply the median function to this output. So after running this line of code, you can see that a median output by group is returned. So for instance, the group A in the column x1 has a median value of 5.0. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. 
I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.